Not since after World War II has there been such an anticipated opening day in Major League Baseball history. Baseball News Club presents Opening Day 2021 Major League Baseball. Before we start, click the subscribe button, comment, and like the video. The first game of the year was Toronto at New York Yankees. Garrett Cole on the mound. People strolling on into Yankee Stadium. Just a beautiful sight. Getting their COVID taken care of. And then here we go. Cole takes the mound. A great day for baseball. And Cole starts off the Major League Baseball season. Here's the first pitch of MLB 2021. And away we go. Baseball's back. Now Stanton struck out. And the Yankee fans boot him. This could be a prelude of things to come. No Kirby Yates. No problem for Toronto. They took the home opener from the Yankees. And then Atlanta at Milwaukee, it immediately started off with a highlight in the first inning within the first couple pitches. Is this a sign for things to come for Milwaukee? Bottom and ninth, they scored three runs with a Christian Yelich single. And then up comes Travis Shaw with a double, laces it to right center. And then they had to go bottom of 10, Arcia, fielder's choice, scoring Lorenzo Cain. Brewers pull it off on opening day over the Twins. And then the running theme of opening day, Pittsburgh at Chicago, was scoring in the first inning. This is Key Brian Hayes crushing a solo shot. And unfortunately, the Cubbies could not win on opening day. Pittsburgh spoiled the day, winning 5-3. And then one of the better games of the day, Atlanta at Philadelphia. Base loaded, another game with a lot of action in the first inning. Crush left field, Ozuna's trying to get McCutcheon out at home. Not going to happen. Phillies take the lead early. And then Pablo Sandoval, yeah, a panda sighting crushes a home run and perhaps one of the best fielding plays of opening day was Diddy's over the shoulder catch flash in the leather and then bottom of 10 Gene Sakura game winning base hit the left Bam Bam scores Philadelphia wins their home opener I wonder if this is a preview of things that come for Philadelphia in 2021 and perhaps one of the strangest things that happened was Dodgers at Colorado Bellinger home run to left or was it a double he doesn't know Turner doesn't know either. He thinks it's caught, so he turns around and runs back, and then you see right here, Bellinger's pointing to him. Turner ends up touching first base, which ends up getting Bellinger out, because Turner saw this. He didn't see it go over the fence. He thought it was caught. Turner scores, but Bellinger is out. And then Dodgers try to rally late. Mookie, no go. Colorado wins their home opener. Then the San Diego Padres, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful opening day? Eric Hosmer crushes the first home run of the year for himself. And then the Padres just keep piling it on. Diamondbacks tried coming back, but the Padres ended up squeaking it out. And here it is. End of the game. Mark Melanson closes it out for the Padres' home opener win. St. Louis at Cincinnati. Paul Goldschmidt thinks he hits a home run. This actually ends up being a double. And then Yadier Molina sets a record for home opening game starting with 17 consecutive. He is now second to Pudge Rodriguez. Then Alex Reyes comes in and closes it out for St. Louis, spoiling Cincinnati's opening day. And then Texas at Kansas City, an absolute offensive juggernaut. Both teams scored five runs in the first inning. And if you're KC, you're thinking, okay, we're down by five. We're not going to be able to pull this game off, but it didn't matter. KC came back, bottom of first, scored five runs of their own. Absolute crazy game. And then a good sign for Kansas City fans, Jorge Solar. Boom, solar power. Crushes one to center. Kansas City takes their home opener over the Rangers. So from an offensive game to a pitching game, Tampa Bay at Miami, absolutely great pitching performance by Glasnow. Six solid innings, one hit, no walks, six Ks. You know, it's kind of a pitcher's duel, so it might be boring to some people, but Glasnow was absolutely dealing it, throwing a baseball like it was a Frisbee. Tampa Bay spoils Miami's home opener, 1-0. Now if we move over to the West Coast, this was Chicago White Sox at Los Angeles Angels. Mike Trout, bottom of eighth, down by one, base hit, tying the score at three. Trout is the GOAT. Still bottom of eighth, Justin Upton takes a walk, puts the bases loaded for this man, Albert Pujols. Hits a little grounder to the third, gets the runner home. This is enough to put him up four to three and Angels end up taking their home opener 4-3 over the White Sox. Then Houston at Oakland, and guess what? Fans don't forget, just because they weren't in the stands in 2020 doesn't mean they forget. Case in point, Carlos Correa hit by a pitch, and the fans cheer. They definitely appreciate seeing that. Houston's going to have a long season, but it doesn't matter. Even though Zach Greinke had a poor 2020, he was dealing. Six innings, four Ks, only gave up three hits. Houston ended up 
taken it from Oakland. You could see the frustration with Oakland. They just could not hit Grinky, and then Houston just beat him up on the scoreboard. And then another special moment, San Francisco at Seattle, the return of All-Star World Series winner Buster Posey. He missed 2020. Giants fans are excited to see him back behind the plate. And Kadoosh. He didn't disappoint. In his first at-bat over a season, he crushes a solo shot. Even though San Francisco had a decent lead, Seattle, proven their worth, a team that might be a surprise team this year, won in the bottom of the seventh, six runs in the bottom of the eighth. They ended up rallying and taking their home opener from San Francisco, which is a heartbreaking loss for San Francisco, especially how they lost the game. Alvarez looks like he throws a wild pitch, but the scorebook shows it as a walk. Jake Freely walks, Evan White scores. And perhaps the game that is going to represent what 2021 is about, Cleveland and Detroit, Beebs face and Miggy in the first inning, snowing, puking snow, Miggy takes Beebs, opposite field home run. Just an absolute magical moment. Let's look at Miggy swing again. He'll be hitting 500 home runs at 3,000 hits this season. Absolutely beautiful moment. And you know what? How's that look, fans? baseball's back it reminds me of something else you betcha Roy Hobbs magical moment in baseball thank you for watching baseball news club have a great day